Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase Solana and store it safely and securely in a Ledger Nano hardware wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm on the CoinGecko page for Solana. CoinGecko is a great resource for finding out more about any token that you might be interested in. Um, you can find out all of the stats on the token and uh, the charts and the history and all that good stuff. They also have links to the website. So if you want to go straight to the website and read more about Solana, you can do that as well. I'll put links to all these down in the description below. Another thing that you can do on CoinGecko, if you scroll down a bit, is go over here to the Markets tab to find out where you can buy this particular token. So you can see here that uh, they have Binance and Bitfinex there at the top. Now, because I'm in the U.S., I can't trade on Binance, but I can trade on Binance U.S., and it is available on Binance U.S. So the first thing I'll show you is how to get it on Binance U.S., and then I'll show you how to transfer it over into a Ledger Nano-based hardware wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm on the homepage at uh, Binance US. You can see I already have some Solana in my account. Now, if you don't have any at all, you can simply search for it here. All right, and it'll pull up. And the trading pairs are US Dollar and US Tether. So you can either transfer some Tether into your account or you can use your US dollar account. You'll need to make a deposit uh, from uh, your bank or a wire transfer. Now, uh, keep in mind, when you transfer money into Binance US, there is a holding period. So you can't immediately make a deposit and then trade for crypto and make a withdrawal. So if you've recently deposited, you're gonna have to wait for that uh, holding period uh, in order to make your withdrawal. I just want you to be aware of that. But uh, so if we have some US dollar in our account, we can go over here to trade and choose the uh, Sol US dollar trading pair. Uh, I like to go to market. Now, if you're uh, a more experienced trader, you might want to do limit or stop limit. I'm just going to do market today. I'm going to buy 100% of Sol, uh, all of the US dollar that I have in the account. I'll hit uh, buy. Now, if that fails, you can shave your total down just a tad, hit buy again, and the order should go through. All right, so now that we have Solana in our account, we want to make a withdrawal to a hardware-based wallet. So we're going to have to uh, do a little research here. So if we go over to, I, I would like to use my Ledger Nano X. So I'm going to go over to ledger.com. I'm going to go over here to crypto assets. And I'm going to search for Sol and then uh, just scroll down. And as you can see, they do support Sol, but not in Ledger Live. Uh, but you can uh, use your Ledger Nano hardware device to manage Sol. It's, uh, you're going to need to use a third-party wallet in order to do it. So uh, I'm going to go over here to more details. And I'll put a link to this guide down in the description below. It's pretty straightforward. We just need to go to Ledger Live and download and install the app on our device. And then they'll give us directions on going over to the uh, third-party wallet. All right. So uh, I'm going to launch Ledger Live. All right. So we're going to uh, install an app on this device. So uh, I'm going to connect my device and enter my PIN. All right. So we're going to start out at the home screen of the device. All right, and then we're going to go into the Manager section, which is down here. We'll just click on Manager. And then we're going to need to hit both buttons to allow Ledger Manager to uh, access our device. All right, and we're going to want to install the uh, Solana app. So uh, up here at the top, we can search. And there it is. There's the Solana app. We'll just hit Install. You'll notice the device says Processing. Uh, now uh, it's finished. It's got the app installed. We can just scroll through our existing apps. And there's the Solana app. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit Ledger Live. I don't need it anymore. right? And now I'm just going to enter the Solana app. And it's ready and waiting. All right. 
So uh, make sure that you've got the device connected, the app installed, and you're in the app, right? You've uh, entered the app on your device. All right, now let's go ahead and follow the rest of the instruction. Uh, we'll just click here for the Solana user guide. So basically what we wanna do is we're going to a web app. Now keep in mind, we are not storing our Solana in this web app. We are storing the private keys in this device safely and securely, and then we'll use the web app to manage our balance, right? Be able to look at our transaction history and send and receive Solana. I believe you'll also be able to stake Solana in this interface as well. But today we'll just focus on getting the Solana stored in the wallet, right? So let's just click uh, this link here. It's going to take us over to this web app. We've already created the wallet. When we installed the app on this device, we created a private key for a Solana wallet. So we've already created the wallet. So we're going to hit access wallet here. So we don't want to use the key store. We want to use the Ledger Nano S or Ledger Nano X. Either one will work, right? So I'm using the X, but you could do the same thing using the Ledger Nano S. So we'll hit access wallet. We'll select derivation path, and then uh, the window comes up for us to connect to our Ledger Nano device, right? I'll hit connect. All right, and then the next step would be to select an address. You can select whatever you want. Root account is fine. Uh, and then there's other uh, higher level accounts. I don't believe it really matters which address you use. I'll go ahead and use the root account. We'll hit access and it should launch the wallet for us. All right, there it is, the public key. So uh, we need to authorize the export of the public key. So there's a little arrow here. It indicates we need to advance to the next screen here, and then we'll choose Approve. Hit both buttons here, and there we go. Now we've got our wallet connected, and now we can manage our balance, right? All right, so here is the address of my uh, Solana wallet. So I'm gonna copy this into my clipboard. I'm gonna go back over to Binance US and I'm going to withdraw my Solana into the wallet. Now, I have never done this before. I've never used this wallet. So I'm not gonna try to transfer my entire balance. I can't stress this enough. If you're doing something for the first time, even uh, you know if you're experienced, it's always good practice to transfer a small amount first to test to make sure it's gonna go through. So we're gonna choose withdrawal here. We're gonna paste in that Solana address of our wallet. And then uh, I'm just gonna send one, right? This is my test. We'll hit submit. I'll put in my Google Authenticator code, right? They're gonna send me an email. So I'm gonna to need to check that email, All right? We'll pull open the email in a separate tab. I'll hit confirm withdrawal. And then uh, you can see that my withdrawal was successful. I can go over to history and choose withdraw and crypto, right? And there we can see that that uh, Sol is processing out, right? So let's go over to the wallet and just kind of keep an eye on the wallet and make sure that that initial withdrawal comes in and is detected. Might take a few minutes. All right, and you can see there that the uh, Solana has arrived in my wallet. So now that I've confirmed that the wallet is working correctly, I'll go ahead and finish my transfer. So uh, I can copy this address back into my clipboard again. I'll go back over here to uh, Binance US. We'll go ahead and uh, hit withdrawal again. Paste in that address. This time I'll go ahead and max it out. We'll hit submit. All right, they're gonna send another email. I think we wanna scroll down, make sure we got the latest email. Zero minutes. Let's hit confirm withdrawal. There it goes. We can go over to withdrawal history. We'll go to withdraw and crypto. You can see they're, they're still both processing out, but we can once we see it on the other end in the wallet, we can confirm that it was successful. So uh, we can go back over here and just wait a few minutes for the rest of the SOL to arrive in the wallet. Okay, and there we go. Now you can see that my entire balance has transferred into the wallet. 
Now I have all of my Sol uh, stored safely and securely on my hardware-based wallet. Uh, just to reiterate, the private keys of the Sol wallet are on this device. We uh, created that when we installed the app, but it's not supported in Ledger Live, so we can't create an account in Ledger Live. We need to use this third-party wallet. So from here, we can see our transaction history, uh, we can see our balance, and we're able to send and receive. So, but just keep in mind, this uh, you're not storing your SOL on this website. Your, uh, your private keys are stored on this device, and your SOL is actually on the uh, blockchain, all right? So there you go, safely and securely stored in hardware-based wallet. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.